52 and we'll circle flip on the card. That's a good copy. Winds to follow. 50K, 310 at 60. 38, 310. 330 at 90. This is Kennedy Space Center. This is Kennedy Space Center. Shuttle landing operations. Ground operations and work to receive the orbiter discovery continue without problem today as the shuttle begins its descent to touch down at KSC's shuttle landing facility at 5.32 p.m. This will be a sunset landing at Kennedy. Currently at an altitude of 450,000 feet. Okay, we're officially uh, expecting scattered at 14,000, uh, overcast at 25,000. Um, the words from uh, Pinto regarding what you'll expect to see, uh, it might look like an overcast layer below you. The uh, ground track uh, will take take discovery uh, across uh, western Mexico near Mazatlan and then again uh, uh, on a northeasterly course ac over west Texas. Thirty-nine uh, statute miles. Traveling 12,600 miles per hour as it crosses the uh, border of uh, Mexico and Texas. Traveling uh, 11,200 miles per hour, tracking d due north of uh, Houston at an altitude of 195,000 feet. Action control system roll jets and pitch jets have been turned off. The ailerons and elevons have been activated. The final set of uh, RCS jets or reaction control system jets or the yaw jets, they remain active until enough uh, air pressure is sensed uh, that will uh, the computers will automatically deactivate those jets and activate the rudder Redundant tactical air navigation units aboard the orbiter are receiving tactical data, which is range, elevation, and bearing data from the radio beacons located uh, at the landing site. Crew of Discovery now uh, reading data through the global positioning system, storing that into the primary avionics software system. Discovery is traveling 4,400 miles per hour range to the Kennedy Space Center 25 statute miles time to touch down 9 minutes 30 seconds crew of the International Space Station uh, watching Discovery's uh, return home at being uplinked uh, from the Mission Control Center here in Houston And the ADTAs are receiving atmospheric pressure information from these air data probes. And that information is uh, loaded in the computers and updating the navigation state as well as the uh, cockpit, cockpit uh, indicators on board. Discovery is uh, 
68 miles from home at an altitude of 14 miles traveling 1300 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, we see you on energy approaching the hack. No changes to winds or weather. You are nominal shoot deploy. Four minutes, 30 seconds from touchdown. Commander Mark Polanski flying Discovery as he uh, begins the wide sweeping turn, a 330 degree left overhead turn taking Discovery south of the Kennedy Space Center out over the water, out to the north and then setting up for a final... Discovery Houston, on at the 180. On at the 180. Four miles uh, in altitude, time to touch down two and a half minutes. Discovery Houston, on at the 90. On at the 90. A very smooth roll around the heading alignment circle, uh, 90 degrees before uh, Commander Mark Polanski lines up with the runway. Altitude, 15,000 feet. Houston, Discovery, we have the field in sight. and a half from landing. Altitude 11,300 feet. Altitude 6,000 feet. The altitude on the head up display on the right, 1,800 feet. Beginning to uh, pre-flare, uh, setting up for uh, deployment of the landing gear at 300 feet.
down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Discovery is rolling out at sunset on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 204 orbits, traveling 5.3 million miles. Discovery completing its 33rd mission and its 7th to the International Space Station. Roger, we'll stop. Discovery, you have a uh, building full of real folks back here in Florida, uh, Houston. Had a thrill to have you in Florida. Roman, to uh, you and your crew, and for L.A., uh, you and your crew, when you get a chance to see this tape, congratulations on uh, what was probably the most complex uh, assembly mission to date. Bravo Zulu. Thanks for the work. you got seven thrilled people right here, and uh, we're just really proud of the entire NASA team to put this together. So thank you, and I think it's going to be a great holiday. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. We got your line clear off, though. The nose gear touchdown was at uh, 4.32 and 12 seconds central time equating to a mission elapsed time for discovery of 12 days 20 hours 44 minutes and 36 seconds and we'll stop at 4.32 and 52 seconds central time Discovery Houston, Billy, the test is not required. Your go for the body flap. Taping uh, activities uh, for uh, Discovery's crew continues as the uh, convoy team uh, moves into position to uh, begin safing the orbiter. Billy will give you a go for SSME repo. Hey, Mark. Hot mic on board. So as uh, with Discovery safely on the runway and safing operations continuing, we'll take an opportunity to uh, uh, replay uh, the different uh, views of uh, Discovery's final approach to landing uh, following its 5.3 million mile journey. <laughs> 